Going to first Peter chapter 5, verse number 7. Just one verse there. First Peter chapter 5, verse number 7. I'm gonna try to preach a little bit, just a little bit today. Since we're not coming back here tonight, we're gonna have some good church. We're gonna have some good church. First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. And I'm looking at Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 1. If anybody want to do some social cam, you can do that too. First Peter chapter 5, verse number 7, just one verse there. I'm looking at Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 1. And I'm really going to jump right in the middle. I'm going to read the, the verse, but I'm going to pull my thought from the middle clause there. Out of uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse Number one, first Peter five and seven reads in your hearing simply says, casting all your care upon him. For he careth or he continues to care for you casting not some, but all your care upon him for he careth for you. Hebrews chapter 12, verse number one simply says, wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. He says, let us, watch this, lay aside every weight and the sin which death so easily beset us. Let us run with patience, the race that is set before us. I'm going to end my reading right there. It says, wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. The writer said, let us lay aside every weight. Let's lay aside, lay aside. I want that in your spirit. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth, doth so easily be set us. Let's run with patience the race that is set before us. I want to pull uh, the idea, the thought out of 1 Peter 5 and, 7, 5 and 7, casting all your cares. I really want to focus on that word casting. Casting all your care upon him. I want to pull that into Hebrews 12 and 1 and connect it to let us lay aside every weight. Cast all your care, lay aside, notice the words, all your care, and then every weight. You notice that? Casting all your care, lay aside every weight. Casting all your cares upon him, let us lay aside every weight. I want to use for a thought and a topic on this morning, simply saying it's time to let it go. Won't you tell about two or three people? So I don't know what you're dealing with, what you're going through, or what's bothering you, or what's hindering you, what you're mad about, what you're ready to fight over. Okay. But tell them, say, the Lord's telling me to tell you today. Y'all ain't saying, I said, tell them, the Lord is telling me to tell you it's time to let it go. The simple fact is, we don't come to church just to come to church. You coming to church, you, 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 you should have came with a purpose. Your purpose had nothing to do with, I wonder who's coming to church. Y'all miss that. Your purpose for coming is not based on somebody else's purpose for coming. You don't know why somebody else came to church, but you've got to hold on to your own reason for why you come. Whether they come to play, sit down, talk. Uh, see who was coming uh, and catch up on the latest week's goss uh, gossip. But your reason for coming was to get in contact with God. Your reason for coming was to was to connect to the living God. Your reason for coming was simply because he's been good to me. And, 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 and two, I have a relationship with him. 
Didn't come to play, didn't come to hold back, didn't come to talk, didn't, you know, we, and, and we have to understand, yeah, church, church is a place where we fellowship, but fellowship comes at times. When it's time to worship, then it's time to worship. When it's time to, to hear a word from God, it's time to hear a word from God. When it's time to shout hallelujah, it's time to shout hallelujah. When it's time to shout and run, it's time to shout and run. And we have to understand that we, we, we ought not to get our, get our wires mixed up. Because some people, my God, we, 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 you, you wait till you come in the church to want to talk, write notes and, and, and giggle and, 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 and try to catch up on stuff. And then you have missed everything that God was trying to give you. Want to tell somebody this morning that every time you come to the house of God, God is trying to give you a message liar every time you come to the house of God I'm coming so that God can break something off my mind break something off my life break something my God out of my soul I didn't come here to play no game tap somebody say I didn't come to play no games I came to hear a word from the Lord I come so that God can pick me up and turn something around in me so I can be a better man a better woman a better father a better husband a better son y'all ain't helping me in here I've come so I can get the wisdom of God to deal with life struggles still ought to have a reason to lift up the name of Jesus I don't need no organ to help me praise him I don't need no musician to remind me how good God is I can look over my life my God and see what God brought me from and that puts enough music on the inside y'all ain't helping me I don't need a BET program I don't need a word network program I don't need a Trinity Broadcasting Network program to remind me who God is my God I will lift up the name of the Lord because he's been good to me you ought to look at somebody and say I got a reason to praise him I'm so glad my God I pastor a church of praisers a church of believers my God I'm looking at folk that can say I can praise God and don't have no money my praise is not contingent 